All right, what's up everybody? Today on Tools in Action, you know something's cool when you open the box and Eric says, wow, those yeah, are cool. This is cool. One of the biggest problems that, I, I mean, okay, don't get me wrong, straps are straps, right? Uh, you know, we've got some from Tecton before, good quality straps, but the biggest pain in the butt about straps is what? Is the leftover. They get, well, that and then I end up taking all mine, I'll throw them in the back of the box and then I get all knotted up. They just, you know, you want one out, then all of a sudden you're pulling out 20 of them. This is so cool. So I came across this. I can't remember if somebody emailed me about it or we just found it, but they're called the retractable quick loaders. We got this from uh, Whistle Industries. I'll put the link there in the bottom of the video. You guys can go there. I think they're like a European thing, but they're, they have distributors over here. So as you can see what Eric's doing. That is so cool. Basically, it just wheels out. Can you guys see that? And then you just strap and lock and go. Yeah. And then when you're done, it just winds back up. Grant, cool we haven't used that? these yet uh, in a, you know, for a long time. We just got them. We're gonna show you just some inactions real fast of them, but we'll let you know how they- They gotta they, be fine. I would have to think that- Well, one cool thing is look how, look how much leverage you have yeah. on that. That's a good thing right there. There's kind of a lot of in innovation going on in these quick loaders, you guys. Not only do we have the- uh, Leave it to those crazy Europeans, The man. roll, but you have that big leverage also, so you can really get your hands on these, really crank them down. Uh, I think they come in three sizes that we have here. These obviously we're gonna use on the trailer. We could tra uh, tractor, stuff like that. These hold 10,000 pounds, 27 feet. This is cool. Then we have, what do those hold? This one is 15 feet or 4,500 pounds, so 2.5 tons. And this one's 12 foot at 1,500 uh, so brake force. That's brake force. Obviously you guys, working load on this is 500. Working load on these oh, are to the right. It's 3,333 pounds working load. Where? Oh, yours is different right there. Oh, 1,500 pounds in working load. Yeah, I mean, if you got, if you're, let's say you're a guy that's all day working, strapping stuff on your trailer, these are a no-brainer. This is what you're gonna want to get, you know. Um, I can't wait to have these in my truck because I think if you're doing any type of strap, and even if you don't use it, because like someone me, I don't use straps all the time. Throw it in the box, I end up moving them around, and as I'm moving around, that's where they get all tangled up. No, I totally agree with you. You know, it's, it always happens when you're at Costco or somewhere. Yeah, you're and out you, front it, trying to get your thing loaded. And it's ra starting to rain, and you're like, it's cold. Oh, you just you want to get yeah, out of there, exactly. and you're messing around with straps. Or I don't know if you guys have ever had a strap come loose on, not loose, but the uh, the tail end of it, the loose part. Oh yeah, comes yeah. flying off and gets wrapped up in the trailer wheel. That actually happened to me transporting the mule, and I ripped it off. Um, so what did it do? Break the whole thing, or no, just... I just ripped the strap. Oh, nice. They were cheap straps. Oh. But, uh, you know, I mean, these things are cool, you guys. They're just really cool, really innovative. Will they last? Very you know, innovative. we're going to see. Cool. And I, I, I don't see why they wouldn't last the same amount as another strap's going to last. Quick loaders. Uh, Whistle Industries, like I said, we'll put the thing at the bottom. Let us know what you guys think. And you guys, if you see cool stuff out there, let us know. Yeah. We'll try to reach out and grab some of it or reach out to the company yourself and say, hey, I want to see that on Tools in Action or whatever. Um, you know, because this is something, you know, these are the coolest straps ever. Oh, they are. They're awesome. I never even knew something like this was out there. That's what's cool. I did see one a long really? time ago that actually wrapped up in the handle part here, but I, I couldn't find them, so I don't know if they're still in business or whatever. But these are great little straps, man. I, yeah. You know, they're my new favorites. So check it out. Tools in action. Don't forget, ultimate tool bag giveaways coming up December 25th, Christmas. Someone wins a lot of cool things in there, and as time goes on, we're going to get more and more cool things in there. Right, except for straps. I'm not giving you the straps because they're too cool. He wouldn't even give them to me. I know. I wouldn't. Eric's not getting any straps so. either. Because we, I got the trailer. So I got a truck. I put stuff in there or something. Yeah, you don't got a truck. We'll probably revisit the uh, trailer soon, too. It'll let you guys know how it's we been will. about two years with that thing now, isn't it? Has it been that long? I think so. Maybe a year. I don't know. I might be right. But we're loving it. The PJ it's great, trailer, that's night what, equipment. That's when we relied PJ. on the Apple Maps, right? To get us up there? Yeah. To get yeah, the, yeah. Apple Maps, man. Don't Oof. use Apple Maps. Don't use it. Stay away. Take it from Eric. Unless you like getting lost. Tools in action. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.